Alright guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm going to speak about Euro 2020, which is a delayed tournament, which is happening in this year. And <coughs> we have lots to discuss about the tournament, especially people who are going ahead and waiting for matches to, you know, bet and everything like that, because currently there are no matches which you can follow on. English Premier League and everything is going to start back again after one or two months so right now this is the only source or the this is the only one month where you will be getting international games where you will be able to go ahead and <coughs> bet on games and enjoy the games every day now I hope you already know that European Championship or Euro Cup which we say is a international tournament where teams participate who are international teams not club teams so basically it gets hard to predict uh, who will be going ahead and winning the match but today I'm going to go ahead and give you the prediction from group stages to knockout stages and to final so that you can keep a note of it and so that you can use it for your future endeavors so let's get started with this now basically always remember something about European Cup or European Championship that it is always a low scoring tournament uh, most of the matches will be low scoring especially on match day one and on knockout stages now why I'm saying match day one and knockout stages match day one means basically uh, the, uh, the first matches of every team not only first game match day one doesn't mean that Italy versus Turkey no match day one means the first game of all the teams which will be basically placing from you know june 12th to june 15 that will be your uh, match day one so you need to go ahead and <coughs> make sure that for match day once it will be very low scoring game most of the games match day two three goal scoring will increase and again it will drop down from knockout stages from round of 16 to quarter finals and so on now whenever you look on to each and every game always remember i am telling you through my personal experience i have faced these things in earlier tournaments like world cups and euro cups as well do not go for pre-match analysis for international games or games like this kind of where knockout and group stages are involved <coughs> because it's totally a different approach it is not like English Premier League where you are playing Manchester City, uh, where you are predicting Manchester City and a Chelsea game. But, and you have lots of match to you know analyze. You can check head-to-head -head records and things like that. But over here you won't find any proper head-to-head -head records. You might find Italy and Turkey played last time, you know, seven years ago. But their team is not the same after seven years right now at this point of time. <coughs> you might find that Italy has beaten Turkey three times or four times but it was more than you know 10 12 years ago at that point of time so in Chu player like so in Chu Kalin Cholu they were not a part of the tur team Turkey uh, like they are right now so eventually Turkey is a better team right now so you need to go ahead and study the market accordingly so that you can go ahead and get the outcome now I'm going to use the tournament predictor app in order to go ahead and predict my you know every group you know toppers and who will be coming second and third and fourth and all and we will go accordingly but before i go there one thing i want you to know that see guys please you know listen to the whole video because if you just see the prediction okay okay i got this and, and this and this and you go ahead and place your bets on that team you will eventually lose you need to understand you need to go ahead and follow the whole video and what are the circumstances which are going through in the qualifying rounds so that you can understand the outcome of the game now as i told you it's a low scoring game now from match day two and match day three you will find goals but on match day three that is the final matches of all the teams in the group be careful with that because what happens for example i'm telling you suppose um belgium is on <coughs> four points denmark is on four points finland 
and Russia is on one point now <coughs> one one point or zero zero point each now clearly Belgium and Denmark is qualifying they do not need a win or they do not need a you know anything to go ahead and <coughs> you know qualify now they just need to draw the match and that's it they do not want to lose it in that cases draw will come no one will score you will get a zero zero you know a dull game or thing like that and you, the match will be a draw so stay away from this kind of matches because always it happens that whenever if you do not need a win the match comes as draw so <coughs> now you will find goals on those matches suppose switzerland needs to win the last match to qualify with four goals they will try to score goals in order to do that they might you know uh, you know <coughs> they can be you know scored against as well so in this kind of matches you will find goals so eventually try to keep a track of your points table very clearly who is qualifying who is not what do they need in order to qualify so you can go ahead and get a better prediction of the game what will be happening because <coughs> mentality and you know motivation is everything in football in particularly this kind of international games so i hope i have made my point clear now coming down to the prediction now before i go to my prediction the first game is uh, just for example if you are into betway and things like that uh, you, if you are a sports trader or if you are betting on sports basically for international matches never look at the prices of the team suppose for example today's match is italy versus turkey now turkey is a very good team they have good defense they have good attacking system they can go ahead and give some trouble to italy but if you go ahead and for example let's check the price for today okay italy is going at 1.5 and turkey has a very high rate that is eight now market is basically going to go ahead and get you confused now as you have checked the price now now if you go ahead and start watching the game now even if turkey plays well if turkey acha you know attack kar rahi hai they are getting corners they are trying to score goals but aapke dimag mein yahi rahega ki italy ka bahut der rupaye hai they are the favorite so don't try to you know watch the prices in international game watch the game because euro cup is televised in every channel or uh, basically not in every channel because it is televised in everywhere and uh, you will find the match televised you can watch the match for 15 to 20 minutes and you can go ahead and just think in your head by watching the match who is dominating is turkey is trying to score goal is italy is dominating the match too much too much corners or things like that if you think that team is going ahead and doing good back that team otherwise do not go ahead and follow the market because market will try market aapko confuse karegi with the rates and because market also doesn't know the clear rates so eventually as because this kind of games usually you know it's very rare to find so basically you need to go ahead and watch the matches analyze whatever you think the best that you need to go ahead and back and or you might go against that team otherwise do not follow any tipsters do not follow any of the market values or things like that because they will basically do not follow news channels because news channels are basically wherever you go ahead and check what is the prediction for italy and turkey match and thing they are all basically paid news channels they are going to go ahead and give you predictions according to the market so basically do not go ahead and follow that <coughs> so you need to go ahead and make sure that you make your own predictions and you need to go ahead and make sure that you take your own decision while you go ahead and bet now let me go ahead and start the group stages then from the very first group and we will be going ahead and starting with group a which is switzerland turkey wales italy now these are the four teams now according to the group as i can see italy will be the group toppers no doubt in that and there might be a chances if they you know get defeated by switzerland and turkey 
both then they will be out of the tournament so i don't think so that will happen italy has a good depth in their team and they will be going ahead and making sure they as they were not qualified for the world cup so they have to go ahead and play this euro cup in a very on a very serious note because as i told you motivation is a big thing on this kind of games and they have what they need to go ahead and win it now my second team out of the three will be turkey turkey has a very good defense lineup uh, i would say one of the best and switzerland it's better their defense lineup is better than definitely better than switzerland and wales and they have a good attacking option as well and they basically now see guys if you go ahead and look in the previous matches or last five matches of both the teams eventually they are different kind of tournaments some are friendly some are qualifying rounds some are you know different types of games which they go ahead and play for international so as it is a group and a knockout stage or later on so their tactics and everything will be different so it's better not to you know give a head to you know pre match analysis and all that it will not do any good to you yes always keep a track of the important players are they injured or anything like that because that will be important because if they are missing key players and in, you know their players who are doing good for them if they are missing they will be basically losing the match or match will be a draw so keep track of that but do not pay any you know so much of head to the pre match analysis and always remember keep an eye on the lineup because suppose last match a group ka and italy has already qualified for example belgium has already qualified they do not need to win the last match even if they lose they will be the topper they will play a less you know attacking team or they will be playing a team which is they are going to you know rest their key players so in that case that match score can be different so always keep a track on the lineup so that you do not get suppose you have the first match and the last match of the group the teams won't be same it will be depending on the situation so always keep an eye on that now my third choice a co within for switzerland and wales i think in my opinion it will be wales and i am going with wales and i think switzerland is a good team i'm not saying that switzerland is a bad team but i think wales will be going ahead and finishing at third and this will be the situation for group a now do remember if you are finishing at third that doesn't mean that you are uh, out of the tournament or anything like that so because it's a 24 team tournament and there are six groups only two groups if they qualify it will be 12 teams so they cannot play a round of 16 so th- as they are playing a round of 16 that means top uh, you know best four loser from each uh, from all the groups will be selected so that means there is a chance if you finish at number 3 you will be getting you have a chance to get selected as well so basically this will be group a for me going down to group b definitely it's a clear cut favorite belgium will top the group no matter what they have the best team and best striker right now the striker which they have they he can be you know one of the tournament or the highest scorer of the, in the tournament as well because kevin de bruyne is injured and he might not play the first game even if he plays a uh, looking at the situation penalty and everything will be gone ahead and taken by lukaku only so lukaku might be the contender for the top goal scorer and they have the best team right now um with the team which they have and the attack and the midfield which they have that is the best so i will go with belgium and uh, the second on this team russia see russia is a very good team i understand they were the dark horse of the previous international tournament world cup they played well as well but eventually their team state uh, you know stats and the basically their morale of the team is not good right now at this point of time and they are still playing yuri jerkov who is 37 years old for their back which is not a good sign so eventually i don't think uh, that will be doing any good to them so i think basically denmark will be going ahead and finishing second in this group 
with Christensen and every, everyone in form and they are playing well so basically that will be the situation and I think Finland will be last Russia will be finishing at 3 again I'm telling finishing on 3 doesn't mean that you won't qualify there's a there's a high chance that you can get qualified for the round of 16 as well now coming down to group C now where we have Austria Macedonia Ukraine and Netherlands and clear-cut favorite for the market is Netherlands but with the injury concern which they have like Van Dyke and all I don't think so Netherlands you know is in that kind of form but their group is easy to get qualified but I do not think they will be going much further in this tournament Netherlands so uh, on this group looking at the team chemistry and everything like that I think Ukraine will drop the group they are doing good and they are in good form right now the players are also doing good Netherlands will be second they will be going ahead and getting qualified and they will be second from the scope Austria they are good team but I think they will be finishing you know third and Macedonia definitely number four now this group C will be seeing lots of goals I was telling that that it's a low scoring tournament but group C according to the teams which I can see they will be going ahead and with the defense lineup and all for all the teams I think there will be lots of goal scores on in between this group so <coughs> watch out for that now coming down to group D everyone's favorite um, yes in England they everyone is thinking that they will be the favorite for this tournament they, they are even contender to win the trophy as well but always uh, as we know England they will be later at stages at the tournament they tend to choke and I don't think so they will be going ahead and going much further than this but England will be going ahead and playing the you know their team is filled with stars they are, even their re replacements are also very good so I think England will be going on second from this group not first because Croatia will be first from this group and they will be going ahead and I think Croatia will be topping this group a market will suggest you that England will go ahead and top the group but I don't think so personally Croatia will be going ahead and topping from the, this group and there's a good chance that Scotland will be number three Czech Republic will be at number four Scotland will be at number three they might even get qualified for the best number three position for the four teams which are going to qualify uh, from number three so basically Scotland has a huge chance by staying at number three they can still qualify if they can take one or two point out of England or Croatia I think so they might take a point out of England but it's up to the game uh, game day let's see what happens but I think England will be going ahead and finishing second on this group going down to group E where we see the dark horse of the tournament which market thinks which is Poland with Lewandowski as the striker uh, uh, everything uh, <coughs> let me go ahead and update you with the group E part and I think there is no you know doubt in our mind that Spain will be going ahead with this kind of group Spain will be going ahead and topping the group and they will be going ahead and making sure they top the group as well so this will be the situation for the group E toppers Spain will be topping the group and I think it will be Poland who will be going ahead and finishing in second it could have been Sweden as well Poland Sweden for me they stand the same chance but I think I'm just giving a nudge to Poland Sweden will be finishing third and Slovakia at number four so this will be the situation for group E now coming down to group F the group of death where <coughs> all eyes will be on group F because three of the tournament favorites that is Portugal France and Germany now again I'm telling you do not let the market confuse you they might give you give you good rates and everything like that on this teams but do not get confused looking at their team strategies and team conditions and team form Hungary has no chance but the main part will be 
played by Hungary on this group only because it will be all depending upon Hungary how many goals they take from each of the team because the per the team who scored most against Hungary they will be the one who will be basically getting selected on you know this group might have a position of you know you know they will be checking goal differences so I think Hungary will play an important role in that now yes the group toppers I think it will be definitely France because they have the best team right now and their midfield striking line Benzema coming in the team it's very strong right now I think Portugal will be second and Germany will be third from this group eventually Germany is one of the favorites for the contendership but I don't think so Germany will be finishing second they will be finishing third but they might get qualified according to the best third position of the four teams which will be going ahead and getting qualified so according to that I'm going with Germany with the number four option I'm going with Scotland I'm going with Austria and I am going with Sweden this will be my top four uh, you know the best third place teams which will be going ahead and getting qualified for the next round so let's go to the knockout stages now this will be the situation after the selection of the map you know teams which have been qualified now once they will get qualified they will be going ahead and if they select in that order they will be going ahead and facing this kind of <coughs> this teams as their opponent now why i told you england will be second because think according to from their point of view they are facing holland in round of 16 if they are coming second so it's a huge chance for them to get qualified for quarter final so even if they come second they have a good chance and which they have in their mind they can do that as well poland will be a easier opponent for England if they come second now I will go ahead the first match between Belgium and Germany I have no doubt in my mind that Belgium will be going ahead and it, they will be winning the match and I don't think so Germany will be going much further in this tournament that is my personal opinion but anything can happen now regarding Italy and Netherlands Netherlands as I told you with the injury concerns and everything like that I will go ahead and the depth in the Italy squad which they are having apart from goal scorers there Italy has everything so basically they will be going ahead and making down to the quarter finals according to me France versus Austria I think I don't need to you know explain this it's clear in everyone's head and England versus Poland as I told you <coughs> England will be a preferred option over Poland and it will be an easier game for them Spain Scotland it will be Spain and for Portugal and Croatia I think Portugal will be going ahead and going forward regarding Ukraine and Sweden this match can be like uh, it's 50 50 anyone can go ahead and win it but I think Ukraine will be going ahead and doing the job and also Turkey and Denmark this match also 50 50 anyone can go ahead and win it but I think Denmark will be going through now this will be the situation for quarter finals if things goes accordingly now going down to belgium and italy uh, i think belgium will be going over italy this time and they will be going ahead and going to the semi-final france england if if there are no accidents happening everyone is in fit and uh, fine position everything goes good i think i do not see any competitor for France so the, that will be France it will be Belgium versus France for Spain and Portugal this will be a tough match but I think Portugal will not through and they will be making to the semi-finals and where they will be going ahead and facing Denmark I think Denmark will be going you know at least till quarter final I thought so but I think they can make it to semi-final if things go goes right for them so they can be the dark horse for this tournament again there will be no mistake and i don't think so 
Belgium and France it will be a good game to watch with uh, that that will be basically a final game for everyone but i think france will be making it to the final and where france will be playing final with portugal and they will be making sure that this time france will go ahead and win the euro cup they will not allow portugal to win again so eventually in everyone's opinion according to the market and everything everyone is going ahead and supporting france and i will go with france for the final so that will be the situation for the group and the knockout stages of the game do remember that tournament at the later stages of the game it will be very low scoring there you will hardly find goals after you know quarter finals and semi finals at least 90 minutes will be it can be goalless or less goals in the tournament try to find proper games where you can go ahead and see goals in it so that it will go ahead and help you do not let the market price fool you they are there to go ahead and make you confused watch the game for 15 20 minutes if you think by if you understand the game if you are thinking that turkey for example i'm thinking it can be any team if you think that denmark is playing well against any strong team or if you are thinking turkey is playing well again italy go for turkey because if they are doing good they will be doing good they have a chance if they are playing well dominating the game that means their value is not 8 rupees it will it should be 3 rupees or you know 2.5 according to the value but they are giving 8 rupees value to turkey i think which is a high value which is given to turkey sticking to italia's favorite yes everyone's favorite is italy we understand that but turkey is not such a bad team they can go ahead and upset italy as well so do like and subscribe my channel if you want you know per day match analysis and everything like that do comment in my section i will work very hard to go ahead and give it to you this is my first post as a sports you know trader to help traders to go ahead and help them for you know at least give them a bit idea about the tournament and things like if you want detailed analysis and things like that you can always comment in that you know, comment in my <coughs> channel i will go ahead and get back to you with a new video Thank you very much for watching this and I hope so that you will be enjoying the tournament and do not last on the final thing do not think that this tournament will give you a huge amount of money this is a international tournament where, where no one has you know good knowledge about this because it is very rare where international tournaments are played not like club games and things like that so play less you know, make your stake less as much as you can and try to avoid risky games and things like that this is what i told you to watch the game and predict the game this will help you in the upcoming season when club matches will start your prediction analysis and everything by watching the game it will definitely increase and you will be having you know better point of view regarding each and every game which you watch or which you will be trading in the near future Thank you very much for your time and patience.